resembling an old-fashioned radio sitting on top of the dresser. Or let's use that object. You examine the strange object closer. Oh, it's a, it's some kind of uh, puzzle box. Let's see, this is puzzle box. Walkthrough. According to the walkthrough, I have to press <clears throat> these three buttons in a certain order. A, a certain, uh, not three. I have to press five different buttons. Button number three. Clockwise. Button number four. Five, six, seven. Let's look at this again. Alright. <clears throat> What's this button? The image of a crown has been covered and carved into this button. A large galleon sitting on a sand dune is carved on this button. It seems very familiar to you. An image of an angel is carved on this button. The button has a small stone carved into it and small letters identifying it as the Philosopher's Stone. The button appears to have a carving of the Ark of the Covenant on it. On uh, one of the Dead Sea Scrolls is carved on this button. The front of a church is carved on this button. The button has the image of a fountain on it. A small label identifies it as the Fountain of Youth. The button has been carved with a, an island centered in the Atlantic Ocean. It looks like the image of a sea serpent has been carved into this, this button. Okay, so I'm supposed to look at this dial counterclockwise. St. Anthony of Padua. Okay, so we're supposed to look at counterclockwise starting from here. <clears throat> That's the number three. Fountain of Youth. I have to press number three. Number four. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. But the buttons don't seem to have done anything. You pull on the handle, but nothing happens. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, the first button I have to press is the Fountain of Youth. Fountain of Youth, next one. Next button I have to press, number four, is Atlantic Ocean. Okay, that's the Atlantic Ocean, okay. Okay. And then the seventh button is the galleon.
And the tenth button is the Ark. Ark of the Covenant. You hear a small click within from within the box. Sounds like you pressed the right button. Excellent, we did it, guys. Handle. You pull the handle, and the box opens. <gasps> cross. It's a pretty cross with a chain. You wonder why Bianchi would go to such great lengths to hide it. Fearing it must be important, figuring out it must be important, you take the cross. A cross? Why would Bianchi go through so much trouble to hide a cross? Hmm. Oh, oh crap! Ooh, that was a close one. You thought you for sure Bianca was going to come in here. But how, now how are you going to get out of here? Door. You can't just walk out there like this. Bianca will see you. Dress up as the uh, as the plumber again. Good thinking. While Bianchi will, will find it strange that you're in here, you might be able to lower his suspicions dressed in the plumber's outfit. What? What are you doing here? Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. I realized I left one of my tools behind, so I came in to get it. Your neighbor let me in. Hmm. Very well. All right. I'll have to have a talk with my neighbor. Indeed. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot more house calls to make. Ben, you came back. You did it. Were you guys expecting me not to? Of came course back we with did. treasure. We were just worried. We've done good, folks. We've done good. How did it go? Pretty well. Aside from almost being caught by Bianchi. I told you we shouldn't have left him alone, Simon. Ben could take care of himself, Alice. Clearly he was able to. Yeah, although the whole thing was a little too close for comfort. All I was able to find was this cross. Cross? Let me see. Here. It has to be important for Bianchi to have it hidden so carefully. It doesn't seem out of the ordinary to me. Let me take a look. You're right, it just seems like a regular cross. Except the bottom is carved into a hexagon. Could that be a clue? Might be. Any ideas, Ben? Nothing specific. But I have this gut feeling. I think if Bianchi is hiding something bigger, it's probably in St. Peter's Basilica. It's getting kind of late. Isn't the Basilica closed by now? Hey, I've already broken into one place today. Might as well try for a second. Bloody hell, Ben. When did you get so daring? I think it was somewhere between breakfast and lunch. Anyway, I'll need both of you to help me get in. Let's get a move on then. Here we go. Okay, we're here. Now what? I'm thinking. Just give me a second. We're going to take a little break here, gamers, and we'll continue another day. We're at the, uh, outside the church at the Basilica. We'll see our progress. <clears throat> Peter's Basilica. Gamers, thanks for watching me play Ben Jordan case number seven, The Cardinal Sins. We've, uh, made some good progress with, uh, investigating, B um, Bianchi. We'll continue on another day. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Google+. All those social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, video game resources, play theater, <clears throat> you get notified of the latest videos that I'll be doing. Check out the links below, check out my Patreon. And uh, that's all the time we have. Make sure to ring my bell and subscribe to my gaming channel, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great week. Take care. Bye.